Adventures, Mrs. Hales here with your next art class. Today we are going to be drawing chameleons. Now, um, this unit is four lessons. So last class we practiced with our watercolor techniques. Today we're gonna be drawing. Next class we're gonna be drawing a little bit more if you don't get all of your drawing done today. And then it's gonna take us a class and a half at least, maybe two classes for us to paint our pictures in. Um, I want you to take a uh, take your time with these and do a really good job with these chameleons. We are gonna draw chameleons and some uh, foliage or leaves in the background. And then we are gonna start to paint those um, paintings or drawings in in the week after this week. So this week is a drawing week and next week is probably drawing and a little bit of painting. And then the third week will be painting only. Chameleons are found in Africa and Asia and Madagascar, a little bit in Asia, in Southern Asia, like in India. That's where they are indigenous to or native to. And there's over 180 different species of chameleons. And um, sometimes they change, they can change color depending on their environment. But, um, you know, like we all thought, but they can also change color at will. Some of some of the species can change whenever they want. And some different chameleons can change um, in response to like fear or some kind of emotional response. So um, one of the facts I learned about them is that their tongue in some species can be twice as long as their body. So if you figure camellia is, chameleon is like eight inches long, his tongue can be 16 inches. And that must be an adaptation for him to, um, to reach his food, to reach insects or whatever else it is that they want to eat. Um, they keep growing. They can grow and grow and grow and grow till they die in some species cases. So they can get really big. And um, one other cool thing about them is they have um, opposable toes. So that makes it easy, kind of like we have thumbs. So it makes it easy for them to hold on to branches. All right, um, so those are my cool chameleon facts. Um, let me show you how to get started on your paper. You're gonna have a nine by 12 piece of white drawing or watercolor paper. And you're gonna have that oriented horizontally. So that's, um, like the horizon, it's more wide. On the lower two thirds of your picture, below the halfway mark, you need to draw a branch for your chameleon to be resting on. Branches are fatter on one side and they get skinnier as they go toward the edge. On top of that branch, you're gonna draw an egg shape or an oval. And then you're gonna draw another smaller egg shape or oval at a different angle. And you can see my angles here and that's gonna be your head. You wanna connect those two ovals because you your chameleon needs a neck. So the neck is the where you're gonna connect the body oval and the head oval. Now you're gonna draw his tail. Um, a lot of students like to draw the tail in a spiral. Um, you're only gonna draw one line for your spiral because, um, well, this will make more sense later, but one side of the tail is also the other side of the spiral. So you don't need to draw both sides of the tail. Um, the legs are drawn like greater than and less than symbols. And the front leg is um, pointing back towards the body and the back leg is pointing up towards the head. So they're kind of just like rounded Vs. I'm just gonna clean up um, some of my guidelines, my ovals. Um, now I want to draw his hand grabbing the branch. I got, I've got my thumb on one side and um, the bulk of the hand on this side that you can see. What I just drew was his back leg. Um, now I'm going to draw his feet, which are a little bit bigger than his hands, gripping the branch. And um, um, now I'm going to give his head some form or some shape. Um, he has kind of a little slightly pointier nose and then um, a little tiny bump for his nostril. And then he has a bump for his eye where his eye socket is. And then they have this like crest or crown on his head, on their heads. And then um, oftentimes the back right behind their head or right behind their neck is a little bit bigger than their back is back by their tail. So if you want to draw that part a little higher, you can. Don't forget he needs a mouth. 
and then um, this is line is the crest of his head. Their eye sockets are, their eyes are really big because I think in most cases their eyes can look all the way around, um, kind of like how an owl can. Their eyes can see at least 180 degrees, if not more. So when you draw the tail, you don't need to draw both sides of the tail. You need to draw just, um, just draw your spiral and have it go all the way around and that's because that is both sides of your tail because it's a really tight spiral. If you don't want your tail to be in a spiral, you could just have it looping down and hanging around under the branch or you could have it wrapped around the branch. You can draw it however you want. Um, make sure that you erase your branch lines when they go through the hand so that you can see the hand and not the branch on the outside. So the arm of the chameleon and the leg that's facing you, the viewer, you'll be able to see that arm and leg and not the branch. Um, the way I drew my tail, it covers up some of my foot. But your tail could be further back. It just depends how you draw it. Um, now I'm going to add these, put these curved lines going around him and that's going to help my chameleon look like it has form or shape and look like it's rounded. Um, for most chameleons, their toes are broken up into two groups. So they have a grouping of two toes together, kind of like where our thumbs would be. And then they have a grouping of three fingers or toes together on the other side. So you don't have to draw, you don't have to be that specific with your drawing if you don't want. Um, they have spiky things on their back. You can make their little back spikes as, as smooth or as spiky as you want them to be because these are your chameleons. If you have time, you can draw some um, leaves on your branch like I have on my picture. Um, all right, this last um, screen, if you want to freeze it, it's the steps for you for how to draw your chameleon. Okay, boys and girls, if you do have a chance to draw leaves today, you can have a few leaves in front of your chameleon if you want, and then you can also have a few leaves, um, more larger leaves behind your chameleon. If you don't have time to draw the leaves today, don't worry about it. I'll show you next week how to draw some leaves. Um, if you would like to outline your chameleon in Sharpie or black crayon today, you can do that. So the supplies you need today are white paper, pencil, eraser, and either a black Sharpie or crayon. I, I don't have, usually many students get to the Sharpie part um, of this project on the first day. So you, if you get to it, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. See you next class.